Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone where I'm learning this truth. Shalom to the Akim, pushing this truth and faith in sincerity to the hopeful elect. So basically, you know, just came on uh, YouTube and went on RT News to see if they posted anything, you know, and because, you know, um, RT News always posting. You know news regards to the world man the worldwide news and um one thing that i see is prevalent man you know that they've been posting a lot recently is protests man you know all over the all over the earth man you know you got different countries protesting you know for different reasons um mainly the reasons is because of this you know see thing that's been going on throughout the earth man you know um it says uh this one firework lights copenhagen sky in men in black march against sea restricts see you know we got police and adrian fans crash i mean arab big top win celebrations i don't know if this is anything to do with the sea Thing, but either way it's still you know you got police dispersed ban anti c restrict demo in berlin you know so there we got copenhagen you know we've got algeria even though we're not sure if it's related to the sea you know probably is um we've got berlin we've got vienna vienna rally gets heated as protesters decry c measures you see um we'll see we just watched the london one you know i live in london so you know um what thousand decry covid mandate in melbourne australia you know so these are all different countries you know um throughout the earth you know like the people aren't happy man you know because they they they, they actually understand and they see that their rights are be getting taken away you know all these wicked mandates are getting forced upon them you know and at the end of the day it's all to push um, um, um their agenda man all to push their new world you know all that man all of this thing thing is not coincidence man all of these things come hand in hand you know um and so and this is also in the scriptures man you know let me actually go to the scriptures now so I'm going to read from um, Job 9, um, no, it's a lucky, um, was it Job 9 verse 24, um, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, he covereth the face, faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he, so it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, who is the wicked, Esau, Edom, right? They're the one in control of this kingdom. They're the one ruling the earth. These elite banking families, man. They're the one making the big decisions. And these big decisions, you know, have affected, you know, um, it, um, you know, the the population of this earth negatively, man. See, if you look throughout different countries, man, you know, there's um, um protests, you know. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if these protests now turn into riots, you know turn into riots where the people um have started to you know um basically um giving up a
on the system even though the people have already given up on the system you know and um decides to go full out violence man you know that wouldn't surprise me at all why because the earth is being ruling wickedness man and we've come wickedness man people aren't going to be happy man you know and esau is even even getting his his own people caught up in it man esau is is getting you know the low level edomites caught up in it man you know obviously ultimately it's mainly to get um jake man ultimately because you know um they understand the time the time we're in now man they know that 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 yahweh shai is gonna come soon they don't know when we don't know when but they know they know they know the time is coming to an end that's why they're doing all of these things that what they're doing now right because they see the men of the lord um on the highways and the byways um you know teaching the coming of the lord they see it man they know who the israelites are you know um i'm gonna get another preset um uh wicked beareth rule hopefully it comes up yeah this is um um proverbs 29 verse 2 um when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked beareth rule the people mourn that's right man and and being more mo and mourn is not a, a positive thing you know mourning is a negative thing to mourn something you know is is sad you know is 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 is, is, is negative feelings man and that's exactly what you know that's is what exactly what the earth is 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 being is being under man you know because the righteous are in or are, aren't in authority right now you know and the righteous are the israelites man but obviously in this time the righteous are the elect the elect man because you know um you have you have um you know the you have the wicked the wicked people of israel man you know that 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 love this that love this kingdom that love this rulership they love being ruled on the wickedness man you know the hopeful elect you know are the ones you know um of of of, of um israel that are really really mourning man because the wicked are very rule and obviously as you can clearly see man even the even these heathens man are, are, are fed up because they understand that hey their rights are getting taken away they understand you know that all, all of these things that's happening man is is, is not a, is not benefiting them in any way you know but at the end of the day man you know esau is willing to 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 to, to, to get their own people caught up in their agenda so as long as they 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 follow through with it well they think they're going to follow through with it you know but hey it's, it's not gonna it's not gonna come to, all of their agendas that they're planning is not gonna come to pass but we, as you can clearly see man you know all of this um protesting throughout the earth in all these major cities man you can clearly see the people are mourning man and hey that's probably what they want esau that's probably what esau wants you know maybe they want the people to break out and start doing you know start doing um violence violently rioting and all of these things so they can bring out their their their, their, their martial law so they can bring out the military on the street saying all oh, these people are um what do you call it are on we can't control these individuals you know these individuals they're 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 they're, they're, they're acting crazy so they they you know just bring out the military to, 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 to take control and in turn martial law comes into play you know might never know that's that's maybe what they want who knows you know that's probably what they want man you know because you clearly see man all of these all of these things is a, is a trend that keeps following each other man all these major cities are, are, are that's happening man and that's in the scriptures as well you know um uh second Esdras, i think was it sec second Esdras nine up rose uh so lucky up rose people should come up yeah this is second Esdras nine i'm gonna start from verses uh let's see Oh yeah, first start from verse one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, 
and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before. You know, it says, measure the Tao the time diligently in itself. And that's what we're doing now, man. Seeing seeing all of these um protestings going on throughout the entire earth, you know, that's us measuring the time diligently because we understand and we know that, hey, we, it's getting closer to the coming of Yahweh Shai. It's getting closer to the end because all of these things that's prophesied in the scriptures is happening, man. Of people, you know, the people are not happy with, with all of what's going on because this world is being is gonna go into chaos man you know that's what's gonna happen you know and that's what Esau wants Esau wants this world to go into chaos so they can reset everything the great reset that's what Esau wants you know so Esau wants to see all of these happen happening man I'm talking about the elite banking family the one at the top making the big decisions you know so it says I read it again he answered me and then answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself when thou seest part of the science past which I have told thee before, then thou then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world he made. You know, so we'll understand that the time of um, um the coming of Yahweh Shai is, is is close, man. You know? Prophecies are coming to pass left, right and center, man. We see it. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, and we can clearly see we've seen earthquakes in in the past two years we've seen um different um natural disasters man tsunamis we've seen um hurricanes storms um you know we've seen um tornadoes in america um wildfires we've seen wildfires you know we've seen many different um natural disasters man you know and uproars of the people in the world i read that again therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes We've been seeing these natural disasters, earthquakes and other natural disasters happening throughout the earth and uproars of the people in the world, right? So we, we've seen uproars of the people, man. You know, I looked on RT News that they post in many different cities, you know, there's uproars of the people, people are protesting, people are not happy. And this is just the beginning, man. People are going to be protesting a way worse. This is just the beginning, man. We ain't seen nothing yet, you know? But obviously, diligently measuring the time, we, you know, we're, we're seeing and we're understanding that time is hastily, you know, um, coming. The time of Yahweh Shai is hastily coming, man. You know, we ain't got a long time left in this kingdom. We can see it. These are all the signs to let us know that, man. You know, um, verse 4. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of these things before the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right? And that's prophecies, man. You know? The Most High spoke of all of these things that's happening now, before. You know? So that's how we know that these prophecies are coming to pass. Because the um, prophecy, you know, is to say something before it happens. That's what a prophecy is. To say something before it happens. Verse 5. For like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginning in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. And that's what we're seeing now. Effects and signs, man. You know, we're seeing these signs, man. Verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby he have believed. That's the elect, you know. You know, so everyone that's the elect that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith. So you can have faith in this truth, you know, but if you're not doing the works of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, then you're not proving your faith. Faith without works is dead. That's what the scripture says, you know. Faith without works is dead, man. So we understand and we know that um, um, these are all signs, man, that, 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 that um, the end is near. So we have to diligently keep seeking, keep fighting, keep putting in the work, you know, and, and, and you know, for all you, all you Israelites out there, you know, that have repented, man, you know, the time is coming closer, man, you know, repent while you can before it's too late, change your wicked ways, you know, seek your how about Shimei Oshai, in honesty and sincerity, sincerity, man, you know. So with that, I'm going to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kwadash, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, where I'm learning this truth. Until next time, Shalawam.